Hey everybody, this is Michael DeLankshack here. I wanted to start this new podcast series on the Poppy Amino language. It is a Creole that is made up of several different languages actually. So Spanish and it's made it's Spanish and Portuguese derived, but it also has bits of bits and pieces of like Dutch and French and probably uh, pieces of uh, Arawak, which is the language that it was at least an Arawak language that was spoken on these islands before um before everybody else got there um so i decided to start this series you know and series like this for every language i studied before i travel to another location because i study lots of languages so i figured why why not you know why 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 don't i share what i'm studying with the rest of the world so this is how i got here and uh i've made the pdf for you guys as use so if you want to follow along in the pdf it's absolutely free to do it will be they are going to be attached to this lesson um so i'll just explain real quick how we're going to do this so this is um the way the lessons are structured are where we have a series of dialogues or a text selection which i will read to you um i have done a lot of study on this stuff and i've heard stuff so i am pretty sure i'm pretty sure that my pronunciation is mostly correct but i am not perfect um, so as, as I start to develop this more, I will get native speakers to record, you know, dialogues and stuff like that. But for right now, because I don't, I don't have, uh, the funds right now, I will be doing this as much as I can. So we have, so we, we have the dialogue. We're going to go over the vocabulary that's used in those dialogues, and then we'll have grammar explanations and examples. Um, and then we will have, I will go over the grammar exercises with you. And then we have a fill in the blank, fill in the blank creative exercises, which are supposed to be for the learner, for you to get your creative juices flowing by using the vocabulary. But I will go over these. I will make some of my own with you so that you get an idea of, you know, of how you do that in every lesson. So um, let's get started, shall we? So the first one here um, on Justin, Justin and Maria. So Justin is a tourist. Justin is an American tourist that is visiting Aruba and Maria we assume is a native a native Aruban. Um so here we go. Bon dia. Konda bayawe. Mita bon danki. Ibo. Mita malu ma manyang mi rota bon danki. Kon boyama. Mi nomber ta Maria. Ikiko bon nomber ta. Mi mi yama Justin. Idi unda bota. Ma ta di Aruba, ma di unda bota, mi ta di America, mi biba na North Carolina, mi ta, mi ta bishita, bishita aquí pa, ba, pa vacacion. Ok, mucho gusto, te ahorro, danke, mucho gusto tambe, ayo, te, bi, uh, te otro viaja. Read the second time. Bon dia, conto vayawe, mi ta bon, danke, ibo. Mita malo ma mañan mi lo tabo nanki. Con boyama mi nombre ba mi, mi nombre ta Maria y Kiko bo nombre ta. Mi llama Justin. Y di onda bota mi ta di Aruba. Ma di onda bota mi ta di América. Mi viva na North Carolina. Mi ta visita aquí pa vacacion. Ok, mucho gusto te ahorro. Tanki. Mucho gusto también. Ayo. Te otro viaja. All right, and second conversation. Bon tardi. Between the father and the son, sorry. Bon tardi. Conta bai mi yu homber. Mi ta bon, ibo. Tambe, danki. Ya bo acaba el dia na school? Si. Ya mi, ya mi acaba. Bo a traja bon awe? Si. Ya mi acaba traja. I e a ta bon. Read that again. Bon tardi, conta bai mi yu homber. Mi ta bon ibo. Tambe, danki. Ya bo acaba el dia na school? Si. Ya mi acaba. Bo a traja bon awe? Si. Ya mi acaba traja. E a ta bon. So in the first dialogue here, um, bon dia, so the way it translates is uh, good day, how are you today? And Maria says, I am good and you. Justin says, I'm not doing so well, but tomorrow I'll be better. What's your name? Maria says, um, or 
yeah, that, sorry, that's what Justin says. And Maria says, my name is Maria. And what is your name? Justin says, my name is Justin. And where are you from? I am from Aruba. But where are you from? Justin says, I am from America, but I live in North Carolina. I'm visiting here for vacation. And then Maria says, okay, it's nice to meet you. I'll see you later. Um, and Justin says, thank you. It's very nice to meet you too. Uh, bye bye. Until another time. And then uh, the father and son conversation. So the father says, Good afternoon. How are you, my son? The son says, I'm good. And you? Father, the same. Thank you. Did you already finish school today? Yes, I already finished. Did you work well today? And the father says, Yes, I finished work already and it was good. So, um, so yes, so, um, to go on now, so, bon dia, bon dia, so in the dialogue, uh, bon dia is good day, so this can be used at any time during, uh, the day in Papiamento. Um, contabai is, uh, how are you, so this is kind of like saying, uh, con is like similar to como in Portuguese and Spanish, and then tabai is like, how, how is it going, uh, but that's how they say, how are you? Cone is how, bye is to go. Um, bone is good. So, and you know, when you say mita bone, bone is good. Um, awe, today. Not sure what language this comes from, but awe is today. Um, ibo, and you. So, bo means you, and e means and. Malu uh, can mean um, bad, sick, or ill. Ma is a, uh, ma is but. So it's like a conjunction, like like pero. You can say pero as well. If you're familiar with Spanish, that might be easier. I think ma is more Portuguese influence from um, mash. Um, and manyang is tomorrow. And then they have another phrase here. What is your name? So Kiko bo nomberta. Kiko bo no bo nomberta. So Kiko is what, and bo, which is you, can also be used for your. Um, Nomber is nomber is name, and then ta is just how you say it is or you are. It's it's to be. It's the same. It's the same conjugation in all the forms. Um, school means school. Lo is a something that means um, it's like future tense. Like I will. Um, this is gonna. We'll discuss this in a later in a later of uh, a later podcast. But then this one. Uh, Low, low in the dialogue is used for um, milota, mi, milo, milota bon uh, manyang. So I will be, I will be better tomorrow. Um, and then te otro viaja, which literally means until another, until another travel, because viaja is to travel. But te otro viaja is one way of saying see you later. There's te oro as well, which means um, that you will see somebody later. And ayo is goodbye. Um, ayo, ayo, um, is similar to, like, adios, which, ayo is not, isn't, like, really common, but I figured since, since it's a tourist meeting somebody, and they're probably not gonna talk to them again, you know, they're probably just there for vacation, so, ayo. <laughs> um, and then, um, there's also, di unda bota, where are you from? So, to answer this question, you would say, Mitadi, mitadi, where you're from. So if you're from America, mitadi America. You could even say ma bin, ma bin di America. I'm, I come from America. Um, and then uh, mi biba, mi biba na. So I live in. So uh, it's this is kind of like um, like vivir in Spanish. Um, in Portuguese, it also exists, but there's also a different verb. But biba is like you live somewhere. Um, and then bishita, bishita is like visita, bishita to visit. And then aki, aki is here. Vacation, but I think uh, vacancy is more common. I've seen um, vacation is also vacation, probably from the American influence because English has ha, English has taken its toll on Papiamento as well. Um, and then you have you humber, you humber is sun. So. Um, you, you is a word that can mean uh, son and, son or daughter, but you use homber or mujer. Mujer is a woman. Um, mujer or homber to mean a, uh, to make it mean, mean, I'm sorry, to make it mean son or daughter. Then you have ya, which is exactly the same as in Spanish, which also means uh, already. 
tambe, which is Portuguese, it's from Portuguese, tambe, means also or as well. So, mi tambe, um, yeah, mi, mi, mi tabon tambe, I'm good as well. Um, and donkey, thank you, this is from Dutch. So, donkey, so donkey, and then you would, um, how, uh, I forget exactly how to say you're welcome, but that's okay. I'm not a native speaker. Kaba. Kaba means to finish, because I'm also learning this language as well with you guys. So, Kaba is to finish. Um, Kaba is, is similar to Spanish or Portuguese acabar, which means to finish something or to end something. Um, Taraha means to work. So, Taraha. Um, Taraha is obviously from one of these languages, so I don't know if it's from Trabayar or Trabajar. Traba. Traha. It could be it could be from an older form of one of the languages. I'm not exactly sure. Trabayal, Trabayar, Trabayal. So it could be, you know, it could be a mixture, who knows? Um Bon Tardi means good afternoon. So you would use this after um after the noon time and for all the afternoon and then you would say Bon Nochi for good night. So um and then me, which means I or my it can also mean mine if you use a different construction. And then, mucho gusto, nice to meet you. Te auro, see you later. And yama, to be called, or that your name is, which is exactly like Spanish yama. So, um, mi yama, mi yama Michael, bo yama, bo yama Justin, e, e yama, you know, e means he or she. So, e yama, e yama Maria. All right. So, on to the grammar Onto the grammar explanation. So in this di in this dialogue in these dialogues, the only new the only new ones we we the only new grammars that we have here are ta, which is the present tense. So ta is simple. So you can use there's two different forms. One form we didn't use in this dialogue, so we won't discuss it as much. But it's just used here as an example to show the difference between two things. But um, ta is usually used in a pre in the present tense. So you could say. Me, 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 viaja aquí. I visit here. You could also say, Mi ta viaja aquí. I, I visit here. So you're visiting here or you visit here. So you don't have to have ta necessarily. But if you have ta, it's a good habit to use to mark the present tense. Um, this is exactly the same as Cape Verde and Creole. But, you, but you, in Cape Verde and Creole, you have to have the ta there. In this language, you don't have to. Um, but there are sometimes people use ta, so they might say like, you know, mi, mi ta, mi ta, um, you might say like, mi ta viajando, mi ta viajando aquí, which is I am traveling here, as opposed to mi ta viaja aquí, which those two mean two different things, um, two different things because one is you're actively in, you're actively doing it at this moment, whereas mi ta viaja is like you travel, I mean, you could be traveling right now, but it, you know, in the present time, but maybe not at this moment. And then a ah, ah verb, which was also used when he said, when, um, and then one of the dialogues when it said, you know, bo acaba, ya bo acaba tra um, trabo, or ya bo acaba um, traja, like, did you already finish working? So, a ah, before a verb indicates the, uh, the past tense. So if you have, so if you say like uh, "kaba," so "mi acaba," I finished something. "Mi acaba algo," I finished something. Um, or, or um, another verb. Another verb you can, yeah. So in "mi abiaja," "mi abiaja," I traveled. "Mi abichita," I I visited. So you can use this for any kind of any verb really. So you can put that in front. There are some there are some contractional forms that you can use. So if you have like. Mi abiaja, you could say ma abiaja, or bo abiaja, you could say ba abiaja, but that's like that's for another time. That those are like informal, like quick speak. But mi abiaja, mi abiaja, or um, matin, I had uh, matin cacho. So, so that's the grammar. So um, grammar and vocabulary exercises here. So we're gonna just do these ones real quick here. Um, and then we'll get to the creed, um, fill in the blank creed exercise. So this one, so the first one, um, bai nakas. So bai nakas means go. So bai from kon tabai, how are you or how's it going? So kon, so bai means to go. So mi bai, mi a bai nakas. So I went home. So 
Mia Bai Nakas. Okay, the second one, Maria, Maria Abai Nakas. Maria, Maria went home. Um, Justin Abai Nakas. Justin went home. On the second one, we have, um, we have Bo, Nos, and Justin, A or Ta Kaba. So, um, finished. So, this is just generic. It just means they finished. So, we have A and we have Ta. So, we're going to use this in the past tense and in the present. So, Bo, Bo Akaba. You finished, right? And Nos. So, we finished Nos Akaba. Justin finished. Justin Akaba. And then, if we're saying this stuff, the same stuff in the present tense, then we would use uh, Bo, Bo Takaba. You're you finish like you're you know you, you're you're finishing up you're, um botakaba nos we we finish or we finish up nos takaba and justin justin takaba justin's finishing up and then um in the third one we have we have um tabi tabishita uh, aruba america and escol so america and aruba in school um, America is actually Merca, so excuse me for that. That's a correction there, Merca. So, Sugyu Homer, his his son. So Sugyu Homer, Sugyu Homer Tabishita Aruba. His son is visiting Aruba. Um, Bo Bo Tabishita, Amet um Tabishita Tabishita Merca. You're fi- you're visiting America. Your son is visiting the school. Su yu homber, tabishita escol. And then four, so um, bondia bondia tardi, so bondia tardi conta bai, bon tardi conta bai. And then five, so bon tardi bon tardi, um, mita bon. And we'll try another one. So good day, uh, good day. You're not good day. You're um, good day. You um, I um, you are bad. Like you could say like. Yeah, just just for practice here. <laughs> so, bon bon dia, bon dia, bo um bo tamalo, bon tardi, eta eta bon, eta bon or eta malo, and then what is your name? So, Kiko bon Umberta. mi nomber mi nomberta Michael. Kiko 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 bon Umberta. mi nomber mi nomberta Justin. If you're asking someone like, what's his name? You could just to replace the boat with e. So Kiko and Kiko and Nomberta, and Nomber and Nomberta and Nomberta Maria. And then if you're asking, um, you could also ask, um, or sorry, Kiko Su. Excuse me, not e. So Kiko Su Nomberta, Su Nomberta, Justin. And then uh, Kiko Nomberta Su. What is his or her name? That's another way of asking. Kiko Nomberta Su. What is his name? So Su Nomberta Justin, Su Nomberta Maria. And then the last one here, um, another way of saying um, your name. So Konbo Yama. Miyama, Miyama Michael. Kon E Yama. E Yama, E Yama Justin. So now here, um, we have to wrap this up real quick just because I'm trying to keep these under 20 minutes. So, uh, so these create uh, fill in the blank creative exercises here. So contabai, contabai. So it can be anybody. So contabai, um, contabai Maria, contabai, contabai Justin, and then um, anybody or anything ta adjective. So we have uh, we have bon. So um, Justin Justin tabon and el tabon, e tabon, and then anybody or anything a verb. So you did something. So uh, you could say by or bishita. So Justin abishita. Justin abishita school. Um, Maria acaba. Maria acaba travel. Maria finished work. So um, and then uh, Kiko number tasu. We'll sk- we're gonna skip all these. So awe awe means today. So awe ta um, awe ta bon. Awe ta malu. Today is good. Today is bad. You could say. Um, and then you could say manyang, manyang, uh, manyang elo, manyang elo bishita, elo bishita Aruba. Tomorrow she will visit Aruba. Manyang, 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 
bo manyang bota uh, manyang yeah um manyang bo uh, bolo bolo by escol and then um and then the last one here uh con whoever yama so um we did this one up there but you could just say uh con con um con e yama con e yama con con boyama like w what is your name con con boyama so um so yeah so that's that's it so if you guys just want to keep practicing more stuff in the fill in the blank creative exercises here just use your own sentences use the vocabulary as much as possible in the second lesson um we will go over lesson two tomorrow um because i've got about a month before i actually go to the place myself um and then we i will talk about my experiences there and stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this first podcast lesson you know drop some drop some comments or suggestions that you'd like to improve or if you'd like to control the type of content we're going to be studying here just just suggest that stuff i i really would like for you guys to be a part of this i'm really thankful that you guys um have taken part and listened to this discussion and for supporting me here on uh, patreon thank you guys